How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Reaper blog tutorial. In a recent Reaper update, they added a phase aligner tool. And in the what's new video, I just grabbed some random kick drum samples and then, you know, tried to see what would happen if I tried to use the phase aligner tool to align them. And it mostly worked, but it was a little more trial and error than you might expect. Now let's go with a more practical example. And uh, something that I would definitely use this for is multi-track drums. So I've got some drums here that sound okay on their own. Um, I've only panned things here, um, but I'm curious if just taking these tracks, selecting one reference track, and then uh, running it through the phase aligner would actually improve the sound doing no other changes. Let's see. So here's how it sounds by itself. So it's sounding kind of thin, the kick drum's not really punching through, the snare's not really, you know, that, uh, that strong. I think there's some phase cancel cancellation or uh, just phase reversal. If I just flip this, the snare bottom, you'll, you'll hear it more bass. Instantly brings that forward. So what I'm curious about is if the phase alignment tool actually catches that for us by using this allow inverting phase option. So let's use overhead left as the reference. Let's hit calculate. It's gonna move all of these, looks like just by a little bit. 17 milliseconds is the most. I'm not sure if that's actually a problem, but we'll see. Let's hit that. And here we go. Huge difference, uh, tons more low end, which is exactly what you want from phase aligning. You want the most low end, the most beefiness, the thickness uh, in those drums, because that means that at least the, the dominant frequencies of the sound are in phase with each other. So I think that worked really well with the overheads as, as the reference track. I'm gonna undo that, so that should yeah, so they're all put back. Actually meant to make a copy of them before doing this. And um, and I was using position mode because I thought zooming in would work, would show that change better. Uh, let's use the, the kick as the reference with calculate. And then apply. And now let's zoom in here and you can see exactly how much things have moved. So that floor tom actually moved quite a lot. I'm not sure if that is actually a problem. There's no toms playing in this section of the song. But yeah, if there was a tom, maybe that would, would actually um, work better. Again, let's go back to the beginning, before, after. That's not quite as good as the first attempt. Using one of the overheads is the the play for doing this. So let's zoom in here and see how much offset. There was definitely like a huge stereo offset in there. This looks much closer. Nothing's like wildly out of out of time now. I think that that one floor tom track was messing things up before. Yeah, so a pretty huge change, very easy to do. You just select the drums and then hit apply in the phase aligner and you're done. It's, it's like two second process and it improves the sound of your drums. This is great. And I should mention I'm using this position option, but for real life, actually working on your tracks, you put this on contents mode, it'll shift the audio within the item. So you're always gonna have this nice clean, um, know all items starting right at the bar line that you probably like makes editing easier 
So that's a quick demonstration of using the phase align items tool on multi-track drums. I've also experimented with um, using this for field recording, um, sound design clips, and trying to improve the sound. The changes were very, very subtle. Even with a, a phase meter, the difference was very subtle. I think it would not come through on a YouTube video. I think it's worth doing just, you know, just add this step in any time you're using multiple mics on something, run it through the phase aligner, you know, even if it's a half a percent better, it's probably worth the extra couple clicks to do it. In most cases that I've seen, it's improved the sound, as long as you're using the correct reference. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook or Blue Sky and visit reaper.blog for more tutorials.